get some more glue there, mate. Left, I reckon we could oh. smack the fan. Tash, oh, we can get a couple up there. How high can we go, mate? Maybe a little ladder at home. Um, what a nerve! What is this? Democracy at work. What's going on, What on earth's going on here? Uh, Mr. Gribble's running for Parliament. We decided to uh, exactly. take him The light yeah. take him down. Oh, Just oh, 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 Get those prices down now. Oh, yeah. Come on, they're beautiful. <laughs> I will explain the Harold Gribble Casino Plan. You've really done it this time, Harold. Yep, that's for sure. Well done, boys. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well done, boys. Thanks, it looks lovely, James. Look, Harold, no posters. The lighthouse is apolitical. You may need a favour from the senator one day, Tony. That's um, senator-elect, my love. <laughs> Not for long, Mr. Gribble. You can't stand in the way of progress, Tony. Look, Harold. The Progressive Conservative Party will bring yesterday into tomorrow. When I came up with the idea of the casino, uh, not now, Dad. Can't... Mr. Twist is going to chuck a wobbly, big wobbly. All right, boys, take the posters down. Oh, oh, Mr. Gribble, we've been spinning oh, oh, no, Come on. I think you're making a big mistake, Tony. Bye, Harold. Imagine the lighthouse festooned with fatty hey, lights. Tony, a flickering luminous. Tony, listen, right, can the kids look after my nephew Tom tomorrow interviews. night? I think I'd better get down to that meeting and check what's going on with the casino, don't you? Yeah, sure, Nell, that'll be fine. I'm stuck again. Oh. That's all right, just relax. Keep reading, I'll do all the cleaning up, okay? What's, what's she doing? Oh, trying to hypnotise herself. That book tells you how to get back to an earlier life. I would have made a book. You know, some people reckon you've lived before. Linda might have been someone else before she was born. She could have even been good looking the first time. Yeah, what would I have been? Mm, a pig or a hippopotamus? Maybe even a fridge. Don't joke about it. You should respect other people's beliefs. Oh, this book says that. Huh? I think Miss James is coming. Clean, clean this mess up. Uh, Linda, get out of the good chair. Faye! Hi, Tony. You look gorgeous. Faye! You look gorgeous. Just something I threw together. Just something I threw together. <laughs> Hi, kids. Hi, Faye. Hi, Faye. Hi. Hi, Faye. Come in. <clears throat> Sorry, you've got a new pet there, Bronson. Hi, Dad. Quite a rooster. Oh, this is not just any rooster, this is Superbird, a mental giant, an Einstein among hens. He's got the intelligence of Newton and the charisma of Genghis Merv. Genghis Khan. He's a little ripper. Watch this. Russell, number four. That's fantastic. <laughs> have a go, Faye. Oh, I. Go on, have a go. Um, um number six. Can I have a go, Dad? Yeah, sure. Russell, number 5,622. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny, Pete. You kids will leave Russell alone. It's a valuable fowl, extremely intelligent. Not everyone's got a chook that can count. Hey, there's a bit in here on chooks. Yeah, look at this. It tells you how to hypnotise them. Don't even think about it, Linda. Hypnotism is very dangerous. I don't want you messing with this bird's brain. Yeah, Linda, it's already small enough. Buck, 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 buck. <sighs> It'll never work, Linda. Stuff in books never does. Don't be so cynical. It tells you here he's just going into a pre-synaptic crisis. Oh, give up. On life. trying to hypnotise me. Oh, I don't know. People are different and chooks don't have as many brain cells. Then again. Yeah, very funny. Come on. I dare ya. All right, then. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <clears throat> you are feeling sleepy. Very, very sleepy. Your eyelids are heavy. When I say now, you will be a... Chicken for ten seconds. 
now. What happened? You're a chook. When? Just now. not to mess around with hypnotism. But, Dad! No buts. How was Russell this morning? Ah, uh, a bit stiff in the joints. But he's fine. Now. Big Squirt's got a chook at school. Linda hypnotised it. She can do people too. I'll pull the other one. <laughs> she can. Whenever you say now, Pete thinks he's a chicken. <laughs> yeah, sure. Deja vu is the feeling that we've experienced something before. Some people believe that it's a memory of a former life. What do we call this belief in a former life? Fiona? Um, reincarnation, sir. That's right. James, what religions believe in reincarnation? Uh, sorry, sir, I couldn't do my homework last night. Why not? Uh, because I was doing political studies. Oh, really? Yeah, helping Dad run for Parliament. Yes, well, James, your father's a fine man, but that won't get you out of your responsibilities. In fact, you can do your homework right now. Will be done before tomorrow morning, or else you will be suspended. 
As of right. I'll do them, sir, please. Just don't say another word. Get out. It's okay, they've gone now. Day, impressing us all with chook impersonations. <laughs> Didn't you, Pete? Pete? Take that off. <clears throat> um, what's that smell? Bronson's, Bronson's feet. feet. What is it with all these chicken impersonations? Oh, well, we're not usually like this, Faye. There's a perfectly normal explanation for all this. What is that perfectly normal explanation, Pete? Look, I can't really explain right now. Well, this isn't the time. Whenever anyone says now. Bronson. <laughs> oh, hi, Joan. Are you going to that meeting? Uh, yes, we are. Oh, since the kids are babysitting Tom, I thought um, you could give me a lift. Uh, sure we can. Well, we better get going. I want to know what Senator Gribble's going to do next. Well, come on, we don't want to be late. We've got to leave in a minute. The meeting's due to start about six. We better leave right now, or we're going to miss the. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do them, Linda. I'm going to be kicked out of school for sure. Try this. You are very good at sums. You are a genius. You are sick and tired of hypnotism. Listen to this, okay? People can be taken back to an earlier life under hypnosis. They can relive earlier experiences. Why don't I try it on you? No way. No way, Jose. I've had enough. Read my eyebrows. Oh, come on, Pete. You might get back to normal when you come out of it. And you could have been really brainy in an earlier life. Maybe you'll be able to do the sums. Okay. All right? Okay. Back, back, back. You are 
going back exactly 30 years. Who are you? Jogo likely. Fireman. Oh my gosh, there's a fire in here. Quick, evacuate all personnel. Women and children first. What? Come on, Russell. I'm a professional. I'll save you. What do you mean? Whoa! Put me down, you maniac! Whoa! Put me down! Stand back, ma'am. This is a dangerous situation. Oh, no! He's breaking the whole place! Baby. Back, back. You are going back exactly 30 years. Who are you? Nigel Feather. I own a flower shop. A flower shop? No, no, come on, let's try again. <sighs> Baby, you are going back, 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 another 20 years. Who are you? Russia Craddock. World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion! Good. You go stop that lunatic from wrecking the lighthouse. Sure thing, ma'am. I'll use Crash Acredit's famous death lock on him. Come on, Linda. Hurry up. What have you been doing? Oh, just talking to Russell. <laughs> what do you say? Nothing much. No, 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 Quick, guys, I've got a snapper. Sit down, class. Stand up, Pete. Have you done your homework? You say homework. Have you done your homework or am I going to have to suspend you? <laughs> um, suspend me, sir. Do you realize the severity of this situation? Yeah, I'm sorry. Give I'm me sorry. that. I'll tell you the truth. You see, um, we were babysitting Nell's nephew and we were stuff in the beginning, you see. Dad brought Russell home and Russell's what a children. Into this? Actually, the rooster and Linda hypnotized and then she hypnotized me and every time someone says now, I, I turn into a chalk. And... Amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Every one of these sums is correct. Wonders will never cease, will they, Twist? 
<laughs> How did you do it? Just watch. Back, back. You are going back 20 years to the time when you were a maths master at Oxford University. What is the square root of the square root of 4096? Them when they're black and runny. Oh, oh, where's your table etiquette, sunshine? Hey, 